Hey everyone, welcome to the Knit and Crochet Spot. My name is Melissa and today is Friday, May 28th. And today I'm going to be showing you my haul that I got from the Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival. It was a virtual festival online. And this was the second year in a row that it was, it was not in person. Hopefully by the end of this year, the festivals will be in person, we'll be able to attend them again. But I did count myself lucky that this was um, virtual because I got to participate, whereas because I'm in Georgia, otherwise I would not have been able to go. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave a fa the Facebook page to the Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival and the website. I'm not really sh too familiar with the website, but the Facebook page is really good and I think somewhere on there, there should be a vendor list and you can check that out and see all the vendors that participated in the festival and maybe support them. I know that this, you know, can't be easy for them with all of the festivals being shut down, but thank goodness for the internet and we have different ways to participate in things. So I'm gonna show you my lovely, lovely items. I, I don't know if I said this, the fe festival was May 1st and 2nd, and I'm just getting around now to showing you all the things that I bought. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm gonna start with is kind of, um, it's not really, it's not crochet or knitting, it's different. Um, something I've never done before, but I've always wanted to try. So I got a kit and I'm going to try it. And it is, it's needle felting. And this is actually, this is from Felted Sky and it's painting with wool needle felting kit. So it, this is, you know, instead of doing like a 3D, you know, like a, a sculpture, I get, they call this, I guess they call this painting, needle felting painting. I thought maybe it would be a little bit easier. We'll see, considering I've never done it before. So I'm gonna show you the kit, all that it came with. So like I said, this is Felted Sky, and this one is called the Grazing Sheep. And these are the instructions on how to do it. And they also have, <coughs> excuse me, they also have, um, I'm pretty sure, um, videos that'll show you as well. So you get, so this is all what you get. You get a bunch of yarn or felted, felted wool, needle felting wool. And these are all the colors. These are all the colors. I can't really hold them all, but I'll show you them individually. So there's corn flour and see how it's all felted already. Corn flour and there's this one that's log cabin. And they're so cute. And this one is polar bear. This is leaf. And this one, another green is cypress lime, baby blue, meadow, and whoop, raven. So, and I can't really, I can't hold them all to show you. I can't really, they just keep, they just keep slipping out of my hands. But at any rate, you get the idea. That's most of them. So those are all the colors and it comes with, there's a hoop, it comes with a hoop and this cloth and this cloth here. So everything you need and then this needles. It's also new to me. These are sharp, super, super, super sharp. Oh, they look very dangerous. They're very, very, very sharp. So because I I was reading up on it and stuff like that, and they were saying about, you know, hurting yourself, especially if you're new, um, they suggested um, 
thumb and index finger guards. So I went ahead and got some of those as well. Because I think, you know, you go, that's what you do. That's, that's about all I've, I haven't, I've never done this before. I've just watched videos and read up on it and stuff. And so I thought the best thing to get would be a kit because, you know, for a beginner. So that's it. And I'm very excited. And let me show you the picture again of what it's supposed to look like. Is there a good picture? Well, just on the box. <clears throat> so that's what it's supposed to look like. And we shall see. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the one other thing I got was a foam mat. So to put the, um, you know, the fabric on it and to, you know, lay the fabric down on top of this and then do the felting that way. So we'll see how, how well I do with this. Like, I don't, really don't need another hobby, but I've always wanted to do this. And I'm hoping that this, it said it was beginner friendly, that you didn't need any experience. So I hope, I hope that's true. So that's the first thing I got. And I will leave um, in the description, in the description box below, I will leave a link to the website. So yeah, there's that. And then the next thing I got, I will show you yarn that I got. So I love Bumblebee Acres very much. They're one of my favorites and they had a an update. They participated in the festival and they had an update for the festival. And this is the yarn that I got. And I also love Harry Potter. And if you ask me, when it comes to Harry Potter inspired yarns, I think Bumblebee Acres does it the best. So the first yarn that I got, and I mean, they do yarn inspired yarns for lots of things like Outlander for Downton Abbey I think uh, some you know some of them um they come and go they do Lord of the Rings they do for a lot of things so these both are Harry Potter inspired yarns and this is the first one I got it's beautiful oh it's just gorgeous and this is the Mermaids of the Black Lake that's the name of the yarn and it is on their squishy sock base. I got something different. I often get their coquette sock um, base, but I wanted something, I just wanted to try something different. And this is super 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. It's a fingering weight four ply, three and a half ounces, 463 yards. And so that is the first one that I got. And there's their card, their cute little logo look at that i love them and so the second one i got is also on the squishy sock base and this is it so it's all the same as the other yarn and this is the name of this is called the goblet of fire now i dare you to go look at the cover of the goblet of fire and this is exactly to me any rate, exactly what it looks like. Just beautiful. Oh, oh gosh, it's just beautiful. And then I got, um, like I said, it's all the same fingering weight, all the same as this. So there's my two Bumblebee Acre yarns. Just beautiful. And so then I got some stitch markers from them. And it's in this bag. I hope it is. So I'll just show you their their cute little card that they they send this card, um, this type of a card with all their orders, and it just says it says thank you for supporting our Maryland and Maryland Sheep and Wool 2021 update. It's so cute. It's just so cute. All right. So the stitch markers I got 
are these so cute these are the stitch markers i got so it's a butterfly and it's the butterfly has the lobster class like a um progress keeper and then these are more like stitch markers knitting stitch markers just so cute if i could ever remember to take a picture and insert it so you can see it better i will but i never i never remember to do that so cute so that's what i got from bumblebee acres and when you go to virtual festivals some of them well not all of them but a lot of them um you get um you get like the colorways for that festival and one of the most popular color this is like a souvenir one of the most popular companies that does colorways is miss babs and i've gotten the colorways from various virtual festivals from them um, the one fest big bigger festival that I like to go to is SAF, which is in North Carolina, and I've gotten the color the the festival colorways for Miss Badge um, for quite a few of those shows. And then I've also gotten um one year I got to go to Rhinebeck in person years ago. Oh, I didn't get any then because the line was like insane, and I was like, no, no. But I did get to get the colorway for Ryan Beck last year because it was online. And then last year I got the colorway for the Maryland Sheep and Wool. And then I got the colorway for Maryland Sheep and Wool for this year as well. So I actually this year I got both colorways because I could not decide. Miss Babs did two colorways. So the first colorway, show colorway, is this. Oh, Hydrangea Bouquet. See, and it's Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival 2021. Just look at that. Oh my goodness. And this is um, on the Putnam base, fingering yarn, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, is 400 yards, 110 grams. And it's just gorgeous. I like how Miss Babs, they do their tags like that. I like that so you can, and they, they do a really good job of skeining their yarn up. It's nice and compact. So that's that one. And then I got a matching color because I was on um, YouTube uh, Miss Babs was showing the, or I don't know if it was her, it was more than likely people that work at the play at Miss Babs yarn place, <clears throat> and they were showing coordinating colors and stuff that would go with the color um, this year's colorways, and so I got this one to go with that, and this is sangria. And it is the same, it's the Putnam base, the same fingering weight yarn, superwash, 25 or 75 superwash merino and 25% nylon. So we got that to go with this. Just beautiful. And so I got, usually I just get one color. I just, I could not decide. And so I got the other colorway too and I, I am in love with this. So this is the second colorway and it's got sparkles. And I don't really, I don't think, I may have one or two other hand dyed yarns that are sparkles. I don't get this that often, but I just, oh, fell in love with this. So this is called Daisies and it is you know, the other festival colorway for 2021 and this is the um i'm gonna mess this up the this yarn the base of this is estralita estralita it's fingering weight 92 percent superwash merino eight percent lorex 400 yards um 115 grams Oh, just beautiful. 
So that's what I got from Miss Babs. Oh, and they, oh, she always includes a little sample like this. Does she, oh, whenever you order from her, you always get a little something, something. This, I'm not, I can't even. It's a colorway zing. I'm not even gonna attempt to say that. It's Dulcinea, Dulcinea which is heavy lace weight, 70% merino wool, 15% cashmere, 15% silk. And it is soft, it is it is soft. So you always get a little, little sample of something. So that's what I got from Miss Babs. <coughs> and you always get a little stitch marker too, and these are my favorite. Um, I mean, I love all stitch, I love stitch markers, but I, I really like these for, you know, keeping your place when you're knitting, uh, you know, when you have to do um, pattern repeats and stuff, I like to use these. So that's what I got from Miss Babs. And then, of course, I had to get, I had to get some bags because I love bags. So the first bag that I got it was actually a collaboration. A Mar I'm going to read it right. A Maryland Sheep and Wool 2021 collaboration between Cottontail Farms and Gypsy Mountain Farms. And I think that they're a uh, mother and daughter. So the bag is from Cottontail Farms. And I love these. I love these bags. I've shown a lot of these bags before. So here is the bag. Oh, I mean, just look at it. And it's got like a corduroy bottom. Look at this. It's, oh, I love it. And it's drawstring, which I think drawstring is my favorite. And it's got, it's got a pocket inside. It's, oh, I love it. I love it. It's a good size bag. So that's the bag. Yep, Cottontail Farm, Project Bags, Fiber, and Notion Tools. They do. They have you. Oh, their Etsy shop. They have all kinds of to um, notions and tools. Oh, it. They just. They have a great <coughs> Etsy shop. So that's the bag, <coughs> and the yarn that came with it. The collaboration is this, and this is from Gypsy Mountain Farm. I, this is the first time I've ever had this yarn. Oh, look at it. I'm going to untie it so that we can all properly look at it. It matches the bag so well. So this is the main skein of yarn. It's, oh, it's just beautiful. And I don't know, it doesn't seem to have any names for them for you know individual names for the yarns it's just saying that it's it's just saying that it is the maryland sheep and wool 2021 that's what it's saying so but look at that so that's the main skein of yarn and then the two little minis so cute and they are, so it's superwash merino, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. They are four ply sock fingering. Um, the skein, it, the bigger skein is 463 yards, 100 grams. And then the minis are 92 yards, 20 grams. And they go, it all goes so well together. It goes so well together. And this is this yarn is beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, so the last thing I got was another bag because, and this is a different style bag than I've ever gotten. This is a matter root bag. I've shown their bags before, and this is a different style. Look at this. This is really heavy material. Um, and they said they listed this as like a notions pouch. I mean, that is like a sock bag to me or a small project bag. 
it's just oh, so well made oh look at the in i never even saw the inside look at the inside there's the inside of the bag let's see yep see i have a few of this this style bags the um i think just a not a mini size just a small size because they get a little expensive um but this well this wasn't too bad i thought this this was 35 dollars, and then it ha there was like a 10 percent off for the festival and it has this you know these come off and yeah so i will link all of this below oh i just love this and now i can use it now that i've shown you all so that is my yarn haul or my haul from Maryland Sheep and Wool. I will link everything below. <coughs> and um, yeah, that's it. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. I want to um, welcome all my new subscribers and all my returning subscribers. If you like this video, I hope you'll consider giving me a thumbs up and possibly subscribing and leaving a comment. I will see you all soon and I hope you have a great weekend and until next time, bye.